hot off the presses, we can now take our Copilot Studio agents that we built, so those custom agents that have actions and knowledge and topics and all that fun, awesome, cool stuff, and we can now embed those directly in SharePoint the same way that the SharePoint agents are there. Yes, right? This is a big game changer for a lot of us. So what I'm gonna do real quick here is give you a full look at this. We're gonna talk about the licensing, yuck, I know, but I felt like you needed to get that. We're going to talk a little bit about how it works under the hood so you can kind of get some insight there so it helps you understand that better. And then we're also gonna talk about the whole, you know, edit them and the reverse, the SharePoint agents becoming Copilot Studio agents and where that is. So if that sounds like fun, then let's switch over to my desktop and take a look. All right, let's start this adventure over here in Copilot Studio. So this is a custom agent that I built previously, it has a bunch of different SharePoint knowledge, it can take actions, it can do lots of things, but we don't really care about what the agent can do today. Uh, if you wanna see what this agent can do, go check out the video up there where I walk you through this whole agent. But what we're super interested in is now if we jump over here to channels, we now have a new option called SharePoint. So when you choose SharePoint, it is very straightforward and it's going to be like, hey, all right, what SharePoint site do you wanna put it on? So you can either search for your SharePoint site or there's the test site I wanna add it to. So we'll just say my Copilot agent site. And then once you've done this, you just hit deploy down here by my face, right? You hit deploy, deploy to the SharePoint site. Now, when this goes, right, just like that, I didn't even have to edit it out, it has been deployed to that SharePoint site. Right now, it's only gonna be available for me but if we wanted to show up for all the site visitors, be available across the board, then we're gonna to have to make sure that that gets approved for the site use. So right, that's kind of what all these words are saying here. But now that it's done, the easiest way that I've seen to go get it or see it first, right? It takes it a few minutes before it shows up in the SharePoint site is we're going to go here and then we can just say open agent in SharePoint. This will open up the agent file. So this is different than I expected. Um, basically what happens here is they turned our Copilot Studio agent into a .agent file, which is the SharePoint agent file type, right? And remember, SharePoint agents and Copilot Studio agents, they are different tools, right? Like they're different, inter different building tools, different options available. They are completely different, right? Like the SharePoint agents can't do actions and a lot of the really neat, interesting stuff that we do with a fully custom agent in Copilot Studio. But... SharePoint agents get created as .agent files, and so what they've done is they've made the Copilot Studio agent available through a .agent file. Now, I was super curious how this worked, so I actually downloaded the agent file, right? Like, we can just go here, like, my agent's here, you can see that, right? Let's close this out. But if we look, now in my uh, shared documents, so my document library for the site, it got put in here, it's a .agent. So this is a little bit different. This is not in the site assets library, like a global agent would have been if it was done in SharePoint. It's in your default document library here. But see this .agent file? If you take it here and you can do a quick download on it, it will pull it down. If you didn't know this, you can open these files up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, show my folder, so I'll show my downloads folder, and then you're going to right click on this and then you wanna open it with Notepad. Right? You don't need to do this, but it's always fun to learn how this works. And if I pull Notepad over, you're gonna see a bunch of blah, 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 blah. Like these are literally just repeating characters forever. It's garbage for us, right? But here's the new piece. Deep link, and then boom, there is the, um, the URL to the MCS agent. So it's not making it into a SharePoint agent per se. The SharePoint agents now just have the ability to reference a Copilot Studio agent. So a little bit neat there, right? And then the icon property here, and then all the blah, blah, blah is actually just the base 64 of our little buddy icon for the agent, okay? So you should never need to get in these files, but it's always fun to look and see what you see here. That's how I learn what they're doing behind the scenes. All right, so we get rid of that, we'll close out of this, we'll close out of that. Okay, so now that we've got the agent here in SharePoint, now what we can do is if we look up here in the top, right, we hit the little uh, co-pilot symbol here, and then you're going to hit the little fly out here, and look at that, there is our HR assistant for box checked. So, you know, if we click on that, now over here on the right, this is using our customized and Copilot Studio agent. And so all the things that I can do in Copilot Studio, so I can have it take action, I can have it look up data against all my different data sources, I can, you know, any of those advanced logic, topics, knowledge, actions, flows, any of that you've integrated over in the Copilot Studio side, all works here. So if you're thinking, man, my SharePoint agent doesn't do enough today, this is the key, you build it in Copilot Studio, 
and you push it over here. And now if I want to make it available for everyone, I'm going to go up here and hit the ellipses here. And so then we can say set as approved. Only site owners can do this, but then that would make it so this agent would show up for everyone, or at least everyone with the right licensing is probably really the key there. So I don't want to get too deep into licensing, but I do want to give you at least the, the broad strokes of it. These agents are still using Copilot Studio agent capacity. So even if you have SharePoint pay as you go licensing, this Copilot Studio agent is using Share, uh, Copilot Studio licensing message consumption. So you've got to have that set up as well. Now, in my case, the reason all these work for me is because I have a Microsoft 365 Copilot uh, license, right? That one that enables it in Teams, Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, Copilot Chat, right? The M365 Copilot license, that also gives me the ability to run this. So that's how I'm getting access to that uh, here. But I want to point that out because the licensing, you know, I'm sure there's a lot more nuance. I'm sure the story's going to change six times. But as of right now, like make sure that you've either got the M365 Copilot license or you've got the SharePoint pay-as-you-go and the Copilot Studio pay-as-you-go or the message metered capacity so that it all kind of lights up for everyone. Okay, so that is maybe a little, little different than you were expecting. Um, and if you're struggling with that, like when you were over here, if you go ahead and click on this learn more right here, then a lot of all the things I'm saying is being explained here, right? So you can see the whole, you either need the M365 Copilot license or both the SharePoint page you go and the Copilot Studio message license capacity, right? So all that is explained there in a link you guys can easily get to, okay? So anyway, let's get, that's enough of the boring licensing talk. Um, so over here as well, I wanted to show you a couple more things. Probably the most important one is the edit in Copilot Studio. So if you were in here, you had the rights, you wanted to edit the agent, right? This would take you back to Copilot Studio to edit it. I only point that out because my first inclination was I went down here and I clicked on this and I hit edit, right? Cause that's that .agent file it generated. If you do this, at least today, it freaks out. It really doesn't know what you've done. It's like, nah, which I don't blame it. Um, so don't hit that edit, okay? Now, I also want to speak for a second about that edit, though. So like if we look at this brainstorming agent, this is a SharePoint agent that I built in SharePoint. If we go to that one and we hit edit, right, we're going to get that proper experience like you'd expect. Notice down here at the bottom, there's still add advanced customization in Copilot Studio. This feature still is not a thing. It doesn't work, right, because this would then have to take this dot .agent agent and turn it into an MCS actual agent, um, and they haven't, that plumbing doesn't exist today, right? But you're thinking they did it the other way. Remember, they didn't do it the other way. All this other one is doing, right? So got it, close this. All right, remember, this is not really a agent agent. This has just got a link. It's kind of like just showing the Copilot Studio agent in it. It's not actually a SharePoint agent. That's why the whole uh, billing confusion and all that, okay? So, but there you go. I really encourage you guys, if you haven't, like you need to dive in and check this stuff out. Like building these agents, you know, and being able to go over here now and in my lovely SharePoint environment, right? Like I've got a full fidelity agent that can do all the things, right? I can even make this a default agent as well. I didn't, um, you know, but the fact that it can, you know, take actions, it can do things, it can run flows, it can run AI prompts, it can run any of the 1500 actions, it can run Power FX, it's got topics, it's got knowledge. <sighs> you get the idea. There's a lot going on here. So taking those SharePoint agents or that ability to have an agent in your SharePoint site to the next level is here. It is awesome. Very fun, right? So questions, comments, leave them below. I would love to help you guys with this on your adventure. Um, remember, go check out all my resources on learning Copilot Studio. If you don't know how to build agents with Copilot Studio, you are behind, right? The great news is, is that you can use all your Power Apps, Power Automate skills to build these agents, start to really transform things um, and you know, take your company forward, right? Be the leader that takes your company forward with getting agents into SharePoint. All right. And with that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day.